This conference will now be that, recorded. That I did it. So can you check right. for my my material is uh, Jeep underscore zero zero one. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, pizza. I'm sorry. Pizza. Pizza. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is far uh, uh, repeated. Okay. repeated. Okay. Material master is okay. Yeah. And the next step is uh, you want to check the other raw material also? Yeah, yeah. Raw material is not good. Okay. This is okay. Material master? Yeah. And let me check the BOMs. Yes. yes. Okay. CA twenty one twenty three. Okay. Routing, red routing. Okay. Okay. Why you not maintain any mission hours? To maintain some mission hours. Uh. Correct. Means uh, mission hours is right, yeah, right there. Oh, means hours. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I have to put the mission hours. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and this one is also release for order. You want to keep only release for order? Uh, this is always uh, release for the order. Are you? Release for general, always. Always, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. You can note down and you will change it. These two. Yeah, I will do. Uh, I will do it after we finish the class. Okay. We are going to change mode. Okay. And then uh, uh, we have a production was a new check, and uh, after that uh, MRP. Okay, you are not plan done, plan not, No, you are not done the product cost collector. Uh, product cost collector. Actually, I did not do it because uh, this this mm. one is my mind that they will do it. But okay, let, I'll do it. Okay, I I, I did yeah. not do it in this, but I will go directly to MD sixty one after that. Correct, but you will get a costing errors when you are doing the confirmation. I see. Okay. If you are not done the product cost collect. Okay. 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 So you do the product cost collector hmm. and then you can proceed. Okay. okay. All right. Hi, Nicola. Good, mo good evening. Good, uh, good morning. Good morning. Good evening. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. got it. And the uh, other question that I have, okay. when we work on, uh, uh, we, when we work on uh, process or uh, repetitive, and when you create the uh, info record, so the info okay. record we create for, uh, for the raw material. Correct. And, uh, because we are buying from other, but we cannot create the raw material on, uh, uh, on for the finished product because finished product is a house uh, production, you know. Correct. 
Okay, so when you create the info record, and if we have a two material for info record, then we can go both uh, for info record, both materials. Yes, if you are purchasing two materials for vendor yeah. from vendors, uh, okay. you will create a two info record. Two info record. If there is a three or four or five, then we can accordingly that we can create the all uh, info record for all of them. Correct okay okay and uh, one more question that i have because when i create the material it give me uh, no extra no external number assignment possible for material so can you give me one uh, you know configuration that uh, we are facing any time problem and the material comes so it cannot be solved that i will copy it and uh, then I will uh, keep it for uh, for future. So one one second, I want to copy this too. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, just this one is second. the transaction code. M M N R. Okay, just one second, please. Okay. Press enter. Okay. okay. So here you can go to the change groups. Change group. Okay. Uh, we can create the group. Is that correct? We can create already something will be there here. If you want, but you if, can we, create if we create uh, our group, we can create from there, right? Yeah, here create a group. So let's see we create the one group then how we can assign to the number ranges and then uh, number ranges. Uh, that will not give the trouble because in ECC 6, uh, uh, you know, previous version, and mm -hmm. it says on the top there is an icon create the group, but in HANA there is no, there is no icon like this. So that's why it's a little confusion. Here it is there, create a group. Okay. So click this. Okay, click create. Uh -huh. You can put the group. Okay, some group like name. Some, some group name like uh, put in any car name or anything. Yeah. Okay. It's and good. here you will give the number. Number and range. range. Yeah. Right. Range. Okay. So if you tab it, it will give you a, a recent number, you know. It won't give you the recent number. Okay. This become as internal. Yeah. You want external. Okay. Correct? Yeah. So let me go back. I am checking intervals. What are the intervals for external? So the first one is uh, open. All nines are there, and this is three fifty to four hundred is there. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. This is A to Z is there. Okay. Okay. Go to the change mode. Mm -hmm. Okay. Click on create a group. Okay. And now some group name. Yeah. Group for car, and you can put the number any alphanumeric, and then number range example. I am putting thousand. To yeah. 2000 okay yeah just and one it is external. Let, me, let me let me let me copy one second please yeah because we okay now go ahead okay click yeah. on external click on external okay and then save it save okay when you save it sign say, come something like this if you save it yeah. Oh, oh, I see this one. Okay, okay. then make it okay. Okay. So it's not you, there or no. Okay. So you create the group first from this icon. <laughs> yeah. So you create the group from this icon mm. and then uh, put the group name and then automatically this will come. Correct. And then you put the number and save it, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. And then uh, how we can see that yeah. this group is in the list. 
okay so now you need to assign material groups materials to that group oh yeah these are the material number these are oh. the material types yeah okay uh -huh. For example, I want to assign this uh, anything. I am taking the anything services example. Okay, uh -huh. this material group I want to assign to that one. Okay, like select for the FERT. We have a FERT. This one here. Why you want to disturb again? Why okay. Okay. okay, all right. Okay. Mm. So select it uh -huh. and click on this button. Assign group. Assign element to group. Okay, just one second. Okay. 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 Mm. Click this button. Mm. Now it will show all the number ranges which you created. You can see A1 is there group for car okay you select that okay just one second here select that okay okay copy Click on copy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if we check the our services material group based on based down, you can see here group A1. And if we come down, you can see services material group is assigned to A1. I see. Okay. okay all right so <clears throat> now if we go to create the material with the din it will not asking any anything no error no error i see save it okay uh -huh. i have saved it go uh -huh. back we want to create Material number we are given thousand there, thousand to two thousand. Okay, industry mechanical. And, and this thousand to one thousand that's come from the number range, right? Yeah. Okay. And you can see now. Okay. 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 I got it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, can we start our regular session? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So Nicholas, yesterday we discussed about the master data and we created planned orders. Uh, independent requirements, we executed MRP. <coughs> you are able to see the planned orders, correct? Yes, absolutely. And now we will do the confirmation since it is different with special. So you said correct. we will You said it's a long uh, discussion, we'll do it tomorrow. So from yeah, here, correct. Uh, from, uh, from correct. four number here. Yeah. Okay, you can put the date on the left hand side that you can. Yeah. <clears throat> Today is 5 3. We have a 5 2. Yeah. Okay. So, this is a transaction. General production, we will do the three things one is confirmation, another one is goods issue, and third one is a goods receipt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Goods, these three. <clears throat> If you want to do it in discrete or process industries, you have a separate transaction ports. Mm. Okay. Mm. For confirmation, separate C11 is there. GA, you can use the MIGO. GR also, you can use the MIGO. Three different activities. Okay. Mm. But in REM, all these three you will perform in a single transaction only. Mm. Okay, <clears throat> a single transaction you will perform all these activities, which is that, a MFBF, right? Correct, MFBF. The transaction okay. code for this one is MFBF. BF. Okay, okay, 
for navigation path you can go to the logistics production separate folder repetitive manufacturing mm -hmm. and you have a In data entry you can see yeah repetitive manufacturing confirmation <laughs> okay. okay open this transaction code mm -hmm. this is the transaction code to do the confirmation all, all three there. yeah correct okay first mm -hmm. thing is you can see confirmation type mm -hmm. assembly confirmation component confirmation component backflash and activity backflash what mm -hmm. is this three okay, we'll see one is assembly backflash assembly backflash that was the first one yeah that is the first one mm -hmm. second thing is a component backflash mm -hmm. Third is the activity backflash. Mm. What is the backflash means? <clears throat> means automatic uh, good receipt and good issue with automatic. It's automatic. 261. Yeah. 261 Correct. transaction. Mm. Correct. Automatic goods issue. Mm. Okay. Hmm. So backflash means automatically it will do some activity in this yeah. process. It is a goods issue Here if we select the radio button here, uh -huh. we have the three radio buttons if we select assembly backflash radio button hmm. Okay, so that means it will do automatically Backflash Yeah automatically so Can, can we do, do uh, backflash uh, yeah, one yeah, question wait. that i have is wait uh, wait. Is... wait 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 mm -hmm. so here assembly backflash means it will do the automatically some activity I see. so what is that activity is mm -hmm. if we select this one it will do automatically the confirmation ga and gr it will do all these three it will do if we select in the, in, in the first one mm -hmm. Yes, I see. Automatically assembly backflash means it mm -hmm. will do automatically the confirmation GA and GR. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we select radio button second one component backflash, you can mm -hmm. see the name also component backflash means it will do automatically mm -hmm. automatic. GA component means only GA. Hmm. Okay. Component backflash means it will do only GA. I see. Okay. <clears throat> and third one is activity backflash. Hmm. That means activity means your mission time or labor time and everything. Automatic means activity backflash means it will do automatic confirmation only that means uh, it's a cost and everything not cost it will do the your uh, mission time lab I time see. i see it's okay can you can you put in a in the bracket confirm automatic confirmation uh, labor time or whatever Please, machine labor. Yeah, that okay. be perfect. Thank you. Okay. So this is the difference between these three radio buttons. Mm -hmm. Okay. One mm -hmm. is assembly backflash. Component. Second one is component backflash. Third one is the activity backflash. Mm -hmm. The purpose of these three is a different. Right. Mm -hmm. This is the first activity. That means if you select this one first button, you are doing confirmation GAGR, all these three. Only mm -hmm. with the single radio button, you can do everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. 
I want to know what is our planned order. MD04. Our material code is sugar. REM. Yeah. So this is my planned order 5910. Okay. Against okay. this, I want to produce it. Okay. Mm -hmm. 5910. And you enter that planned order number. You enter here. You can see in the screen. You have option selection data. Okay. Mm -hmm. And paste means enter your planned order mm -hmm. and press enter. Once you press enter, mm -hmm. the data from the planned order will get copied to here. Copied means like example mm -hmm. material, yeah. production version, mm -hmm. plant. Okay. All these details mm -hmm. will get copied. Okay. I see. Once you press enter here, mm -hmm. so I'm pressing enter. Mm -hmm. So it is showing some error. Enter the two story location. Ah, okay, two story location. It is saying enter. Okay, again press enter. So you can see it get copied all the data like material, production version, plant. Okay. And you need to enter the receiving storage location. Okay, and mm -hmm. it is copied the quantity also. Mm -hmm. How much is there in mm -hmm. order planned order? Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Once you enter these details, you mm -hmm. can check post with correction. You click on the post with correction. That means if you go, if you click this button, mm -hmm. it will open another screen mm -hmm. where it will show you your GI quantities. Mm -hmm. Again, I see. Okay. Perfect. Very good. Okay. And one minute. Missing the storage location here. Uh, that is okay. Auto GR did not came, so I'm checking. Yeah, you need to put the for auto GR. You need to put. Okay. Auto good receipt. Yeah. 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 Zero ah. yeah. Save it. Okay. So maybe no. you should start over. No. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm going back because auto GR did not came. Hmm. So I'm going back. Do you want to post the document? No. Hmm. Okay. I'm not posting. Do you want to continue processing this data? No. You okay. can start from the T code again, you know. And Correct. It won't automatically update. Okay. Because already planned order is created. Hmm. So what I will do is I will run the MRP once again. So it will delete the planned orders and recreate. I see. Okay? Because we corrected the master data now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I am going to the MRP run. All components. And this last option planning mode is there. Here you select a delete and recreate. So then existing planned order it will get create deleted and created. So uh, whatever uh, you will change before uh, MRP, then you yeah. then you come back to MRP. You had to the second option in a, yeah. a plan Correct. mode. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Otherwise, those changes will not come. I see. Okay. Execute. Means uh, any minor change, right? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. This sign sometimes come to. Okay. okay. So then you MD. can go to the MD04 and check. 
and order number okay new mm. planned orders created 5924 mm. i am copying this and i am going to the mfbf transaction yeah so here assembly backflash and mm. enter new plan order, order here order. yeah yeah and enter and press enter mm. okay enter the storage location okay and then click on the post with the correction okay Two sixty-one. What okay. was the missing before? Storage location. One zero one. Okay. It come let up, it. No? Yeah. It. Yeah. Okay. Let it. I will post it. We will see the GR is happened or not. It should come actually. Okay. So once you, here, it is showing you the components. So you selected these components and click on save button. Uh -huh. Okay. Click on save button. So it is saying. Yeah, there is no stock sugar cane because we are not produced it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I will do. MMBE. Yeah, MMBE. Not MMBE. Me go. MB60. Uh, we will do MB um, 561 with the receipt. Yeah, correct. Oh, uh migo migo yes yeah ah, migo uh what do you put there uh, r10 other means all goods received others means this uh, um, uh, others means 561 it should come why 101 has come somebody changed yeah yeah it's there yeah. Right. okay uh, Mr. Vasu, can you yeah. can you tell me what does this mean by others? Others means we are doing other goods movements, which is not reference to any order. Okay. It is not reference to purchase order, not reference to production order. Mm -hmm. So that means it is others. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, you can enter the material, quantity, storage location, plant, and click on checkbox. Mm -hmm item and post it save it enter vendor why it is asking vendor somebody changes some configuration okay i will warn you need a vendor 561 you don't need a vendor on so five you know? yeah actually 561 or 501 you don't require any vendor but yeah, it is asking vendor. Yeah. Somebody changes some setting. Blunt. These are for different. Yeah, the first one. Okay. But our material yeah, all is one of these. Yeah, seven five. Yeah, just one. Yeah, it's okay. It should be. Mm. Enter vendor. Okay, let me go back and come again. No. Somebody changes some settings. Me go. Yeah. Other five zero one. I'm putting sugar cane. Quantity. 
where store on look press center uh, it is asking partner and all these things oh a count assignment jwop it is expecting okay Maybe why why five sixty one will not ask you this detail. Five sixty one. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Usually yeah. it works very well. Yeah. Let me go back once again. Five sixty five sixty one. Me go. It's very strange. I just make a good uh, good receipt yesterday. Or maybe today. Yeah, five sixty one. Plant storage location quantity material. It is expecting partner. Okay, save it. Okay, saved. Fine. Mm -hmm. Good. Work. Partner okay. is gone. document posted. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. So I'm going back. So we will once again. I'm going to MFBF. MFBF. Enter your planned order. Hmm. Press center. Enter your storage location. Go to the corrections. Enter here also storage location. And save it. Okay. Mm. Uh, do you want to post the document? Yes. So we are putting the confirmed quantity as 10. Okay. Mm. Confirmed means GR quantity as 10. Let mm. me press save. Once you save it. Okay. In the bottom, it will tell you, you can see. GR and GA document posted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now component back back flash. GA is happened. GR is yeah, also happened. You can see it from the MMBE. It's the GR yeah. happening. Correct. Okay. And one more thing. Here you want to see. Here it is showing you the document. Correct. What is the document number? 548. 548. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Generally, if you want to see the documents, you will go to the Migo transaction code. Correct? Mm -hmm. Generally. MB02. Yeah. Yeah. MB03 or 2 we will go. But in this transaction code, you can go from here itself. Documents. I see. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. You okay. click on this button documents. Mm -hmm. This screen will come. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you remember the document number directly, you can give the document number here. Otherwise, by date today, posting date today. Otherwise, yeah. executing date. Yeah, I can execute also. Okay, hmm. because we give in the plant and material and execute. Yeah, we are the only people who did this one. Yes. Yeah, correct. Yeah, you can see. Okay, document is posted, and if you double click on this document number, hmm. it will open this sugar. 10 quantity and moment type you can see here for this mm -hmm. quantity and moment type uh, one more thing gr moment type is different in repetitive manufacture 131 not yeah the, yeah not the 101 in repetition yeah, standard good received from uh, yeah yeah Okay, in standard repetitive to manufacturing, this is moment type correct. Yeah, GR moment type in REM is one thirty one. Okay, for remaining business processes is one one zero one only. But an oh. REM, it is a different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and here in the second line item, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. You can see 261 is happened plant store location. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in the same transaction code, you can go to the documents also. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm coming back. Back. And now if you go to the MMBE transaction code to check this stock, sugar REM execute, you can see the stock 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then you want to see the crane sugar cane. Mm. Stock will reduce. Actually, enter 100. Actually, it is reduced by 20. So 20 is good issue happen. Okay. Mm. Any questions? No. Okay. Now we can go back to the other radio button, which was. Uh, yeah. Back flash. Uh... Now. For example. Okay. Now you did the assembly and everything fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, for this same order or something order, you want to do component backflash, second button. Mm -hmm. Okay. Component backflash means you are consuming only item. You are consuming only the component, like sugar cane only. You are consuming. Okay. Once you click component backflash here, you can see the two radio buttons again. No BOM explosion. That means that material is not part of your BOM. For example, sugar cane. Okay. Is your component. But apart from sugar cane, you have consumed another one also. Some chemical self is there to make sugar as a white okay sugar from brown color to white you are using some chemical that chemical is not in the BOM but you have consumed it mm -hmm. so you want to put then you can select this radio button and enter that material I see so and that will uh, that will come automatically in a BOM no, it won't come. It won't update in the BOM. This right. is like the material which is not part of BOM, but you have consumed it. You have used it. So that time you can use this radio button. So no just, BOM material, just material name, no quantity or anything. Yeah, here you will give the material number. Uh -huh. Okay. And quantity also you have to give. Where we put the quantity in the same same. Uh... So, so you can enter um, a component like what is the chemical you created? Some chemical, some uh, water plus uh, H2O or whatever. Just put the water. Material number without material number, it won't come here. Somebody has created. Okay, 73. Somebody has created. Okay. You just put so the hydro, hydrochloric acid. Mm -hmm. It does not exist. Okay. Huh. Some material number which is related to chemical. Chemical, I think. Yeah, yeah. You put sugar. Oh, sugar is our sugar only. Test no, material. this sugar. Yeah. Beer, barley, apple, campaign, grand, engine. You can put the tomato sauce with that. I am putting the test material. Okay, some yeah. test material is there. Okay, mm -hmm. you enter it. Not found. Okay, not found. It is. It is there. And then click on component list. It is expecting production version. Okay. Okay, sorry. This time coming back one minute. No. Okay. 
that kind of error go to the mfbf okay yeah. click on the component backflash okay no bom okay if you select this option so the component which is not part of bom you are consuming it okay right. now here for which planned order you are consuming that you need to enter that planned order i see okay enter this planned order mm -hmm. and then click on the process component list what is error it is coming planned order no. does not exist okay it is already completed that planned order i am yeah. taking the another another one. planned order yeah uh -huh. okay uh -huh. so this planned order next planned order i took it okay mm -hmm. and then next you need to click on process component list if you select this one here you need to enter your new component means which is not part of BY. okay that means mm -hmm. for example that what is the material test test is the material code tes mm -hmm press enter and here how much quantity you will enter and you will enter the storage location mm -hmm. okay and you, if you save it that material get consumed from this storage location mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. this is one way this is which is not part of bym now for example your component is the part of bym only but you have consumed excess you have consumed it excess that means you select the process components according to bym select it okay okay so, i'm sorry say again we we have the component but we did not consume it you have consumed excess access more more access okay yeah okay you consumed uh -huh. more component more come okay more component so then you uh -huh. select this button uh -huh. okay and <clears throat> you can click reference quantity so you can enter the how much quantity you have consumed it just reference and uh -huh. click on this component list uh -huh. so then here you can see your component has come your uh -huh component has come it is earlier it did not came because you are not consuming from the bym it is a other Excellent. material now you are consuming from the your bym so here you can enter the quantity as 20 and enter the storage location if you save it now you can click mm -hmm. on the save now so then it will tell you it is only GI is happened post click on the post now if you see the bottom message you can see GI with the document posted mm -hmm. only GI is posted mm -hmm. component backflash means only GI mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so this is GI and another thing is there we have the activity backflash yeah so if you select this one it will do only the activity activity means machine hours as per the standard it will work mm. as per the standard means here we don't have the option okay here first enter your order mm. and press enter once you enter the order number Wait. Some issue, okay. Okay, and then in the top you have the process activities you can see, but earlier it is a components process list. Now if you select the activity backflash will come as a process activities sugar does not exist sorry not sugar can sugar rem 
our product no act which is standard cost estimation exists i think you go back no to again no it is saying no act to standard cost estimation some costing error cost uh, estimation update okay it is saying cost estimation is not there okay no hmm. act to st standard cost exist so actually i can do the cost estimation also cost estimation sorry that is actually the costing KK, people kk f6n no no that is uh, preliminary cost this is standard cost estimation means ck11n ck11n yeah standard <coughs> cost estimation this is not a mandatory but okay standard cost estimation in this screen enter your material fd material location plant and costing variant select variant standard cost estimation ppc1 mm -hmm. and press enter it will come this some dates cost estimation from it is coming from um, june so, first but you change this to today's date Okay. Otherwise, again, that error will come. Oh, yeah. May third. Okay. And here also you change May third. May third. Okay. Valuation date May third. And then press enter. and save it so actual you cannot save okay okay i'm leaving it because all costing errors okay yeah. but if they correct this costing and everything it will post the activities also okay okay <clears throat> now we will see some other <clears throat> options here okay we saw the and sometimes you have posted the document mm -hmm. but that is not a correct you want to reverse it okay how can you reverse documents nicholas go in a back in a yeah oh uh okay oh, okay you cancel the document itself either you take the cons the document itself you cancel it or you are reversing movement you do 262 and speed to 261 but you yeah. you will reverse document mb02 maybe okay okay so here directly from this transaction also you can go and cancel it Oh, you great, cancel. man. Okay. No, means you yeah. cancel, cancel the documents, you say? Yeah. Cancel Example, the documents? Uh, yeah. So what does it mean by reversal? Okay. I mean, I don't understand this. Uh, do you cancel mean the, the document means, for uh, example, yeah. cancel the document means reverse. I see. Okay. Hmm. For example, we did the goods movements here. Hmm. Uh, component backflash, we did it, correct? Mm -hmm. Component backflash, we consumed the uh, 20 quantity. I will <coughs> open the MMB for this MMB. Okay. Mm -hmm. And sugar cane, what is the present stock? 60, it should be there. Okay. You can see 60 is there because. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First order we consume 20 and then component backflash also we consume 20. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now I want to reverse that component consumption 20 quantity. Oh, okay. Reverse mean 
you may be done it by mistake so now you want to reverse it hmm. okay so for that what you how you can reverse is mfbf same transaction code mm -hmm. here click on document specific reversal i see select it and you find documents for which material okay for example in triple seven material Super is time. our yeah sugar okay. cane okay okay yes. you want to reverse the document and posting data whatever you can enter here and execute so we don't need to put the numbers just yeah execute correct date of reversal no document log we no document log from exists for the selection yeah here it is showing you two documents you can see okay for sugar rem and sugar rem okay if you go into one document this first document 549 open mm -hmm. this document and you can see sugar cane is consumed here with 261 okay sugar cane it is consumed with 261 20 this document yeah quantity is 20 20 okay okay you want to reverse this document okay okay so mm -hmm. now how to reverse is select this document and you can see one button reverse. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Press this button. Very simple. And here in the bottom, you can see material document reversed. It is okay. reversed. If so I have reversed the same the, thing too, like uh, 548. 548. What is? It? Yeah, you can do for the same. 548 also you can do I see. okay now if i go and check the stock of this sugar cane um, how much it will be there now 80 uh, 80 yeah before it was, earlier, 60. It, it was 60 yeah, yeah. now I, we are reversed it so stock should become 60. 80 yeah okay okay is this clear yes sir yeah, very so these are the yeah these are the options you have in a same transaction code that is a simple simple process means this is you can yeah. do gigr confirmations and you can do uh, document reversals and extra component consumptions all these details you can do in a same transaction code mm -hmm. okay yeah so any questions otherwise i will stop the class for today yeah mm, i don't there is no other course right. yeah yeah we, we we finished the repetitive i believe is that right yeah correct, correct. yeah repetitive okay, we uh, we did up to you know production version but i mean we did not go after that step because today we go again we can yeah. go KKF and then also uh, assembly and all this stuff. So in this yeah. uh, repetitive, uh, mm -hmm. there is no uh, production planning. It means uh, production order. Production order. I mean, sorry, production. There is no production order. So so Correct. we can just uh, uh, after the production version, then you can go mm -hmm. for the cost collection collector, yeah. and then after that Correct. you can go so uh, no, no today's work whatever you did back for and all this stuff yes sir yes, uh, yes. okay okay Perfect. just to follow these steps yeah why well, this uh, repetitive is a little simple but the yeah. last portion just need little uh, need to work correct yeah Okay. And uh, yes, sir. And uh, if you send us this uh, Excel file, will be appreciated. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So mm -hmm. I will send after this class.
you can yes, listen. Sir. Okay. Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank we'll you, sir. continue the night. class tomorrow. Yes. Okay? Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.